assistance to survive. It estimates more than 9 million Syrians are not getting enough food. Nearly half of those are children. Six month old Ghadir weighs three and a half kilos. Malnutrition is becoming an increasing threat among Syrian children. Aid agencies warn million across the war ravaged country don't get enough food to eat as poverty deepens. She needs milk, but that's not all she needs. She needs diapers. We need food and we have nothing. Those displaced by war have been particularly vulnerable, unable to afford basic necessities. Health workers who visit the camp say never before have they seen so many cases of malnourished children. The International Aid Agency Save the Children says 65 percent have not had meat, fruits and vegetables for at least three months. We know this is a combination of just 10 years of conflict, of very weak health care systems, of the COVID-19 outbreak and the dire economic situation that has really affected Syria. So when you put all those factors together, what we're seeing is that children, especially very young children, just aren't getting the nutrients they need to grow up healthy. In government-held areas, there is a bread crisis. The cash-strapped state has been forced to reduce subsidies and ration a main staple that more families can no longer buy. We distribute food across 1,100 um, distribution sites across the country, and there is a high increased pressure on these sites with people coming, pleading uh, to be taken up into our lists so that they can receive assistance. At some points when we come with our cars, we can't even go out of the cars because they are surrounded with people that they can also receive assistance now. The Syrian currency has lost much of its value. That affected food prices, which are now the highest ever recorded. The World Food Program says 9.3 million Syrians don't have access to sufficient food, and an additional 2.2 million are at risk across the country. That is half the population. We buy expired milk because it's cheaper. We also buy the cheapest food for the other kids so they don't cry from hunger. It's been 10 years of war and displacement. There's still no peace.